statement first, and then you can ask questions. Yeah, obviously we fell uh, off to a tough start. I don't know what it was, 19-6, 19-4, dug ourselves a big hole, uh, which we can't afford to do uh, against a team like Boston College. I thought we played some of the best basketball we've played for a period of 12 to 16 minutes in the first half. That's why we were able to get back in the game. I uh, really felt like if we made a couple of those shots before the half ended that we could have you know, been, been uh, possibly tied at halftime. Uh, but we played well for those 15 minutes. I don't think in the second half uh, we came out real strong and we built, dug ourselves another hole. And uh, can't do that against a, a team of this caliber. You know, we know how much bigger they are than us, uh, so we've got to be that much more efficient in every other area of the basketball game. We've got to take care of the ball and we've got to execute and shoot a high percentage. Uh, if we do that, we've got a chance to stay in the game. Uh, we just didn't do that today consistently over a 40 uh, minute period. So. Questions? Do you, obviously, you talked about the size, and that's kind of a recurring theme for you guys. But did, did Clifford wear you down, basically? I mean, just the, uh, I think he had 11 free throw attempts, and he was just all low in there. For yeah. Time. Well, I thought that was a good move on their part um, by going into him. Uh, we kind of expected that. Um, we're okay with that because the majority of their scoring generally comes from the guard position. So we felt like if they were going to do something different, at least we were taking them out of something. Um, but obviously, his size uh, was effective, and I thought he got more effective. Uh, as the game went on, we had some foul trouble up front, uh, which we definitely can't afford because of our lack of size and depth. Was John something with a knee? Did he take like, a, a knee to, like, to anywhere? Yeah. He was kind of hobbled a little bit in that second. Yeah, sometimes I cross my fingers every time Jihad makes a play because <laughs> yeah, he plays so hard um, with such intensity and he's so physical. Um, you know, sometimes I worry either he or the opponent's going to get hurt on every play. But that's who he is, and that's why he's effective. Uh, so you got to let him continue to play like himself. I think I think he's fine. He's not hurt. Um, but uh, and he played hard. Um, he always does. I think their size uh, made him less effective. And the last couple of games we faced uh, in, inside players that were much bigger than him. And even though he's quicker and he's able to get some space, he's not able to finish as well at the rim. And that impacts uh, our entire offense. Okay, you spent a lot of years on that bench down there. What was it? Yeah. Like? Yeah, so uh, once the game started, you know, it was just like every other game because it has to be. Um, but stepping foot on this campus uh, was special. It was a great place for me. Uh, 13 years, we had a lot of success uh, on the basketball court, and uh, I developed a lot of close relationships. So um, it's like a second home to me. It's great to be back. Uh, I wish we had uh, played better, um, but I think it was fun for both myself and uh, Coach Lewis and Coach Pico Paris, who both play from here at Boston College to come back. I think uh, this is a special place to all of us. Um, taking this kind of lump from an ACC team on their court, you're going to league play now. Is there is, is, is it good to have a game like this and see a team that just has that much size and it kind of makes you kind of readjust how you play a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think you've got to, you got to see the whole picture. Um, they are bigger than us, so there are some things that are out of our control. But I had a real honest conversation with these guys, and I think that they'll tell you the same thing. Uh, we're, we're better than that, and we've played better than that early in the season, and we had to, we have to find a way uh, to get back to that going into America East play. Uh, maybe we could have won, maybe we couldn't have against, against an ACC opponent, but we could have played better today um, collectively as a whole. Everybody could have played a little bit better. Coach, you talked to me the other day about you said if there was an unsung hero, maybe it's DJ because of the way he's accepted a new role, one from playing, you know, 35 or whatever minutes a game last year to, yep. you know, coming off the bench. Could you just talk about, you know, his transition and how he's accepted the new role? Yeah, we've had a lot of situations like DJ's where roles change. Um, this is a hard transition. What we're trying to do um, to go from Division Two to Division One um, is a long-term process. Um, but our guys want to win right away, and that requires um, – a lot of tough decisions, a lot of changing roles, a lot of moving parts. And I think DJ's um, reaction um, to his change in roles uh, tells a lot about his character. And um, he, he worked harder, he practiced harder, uh, he did everything he could under his control to get better, even though his role changed and his minutes uh, were reduced. And I think that it's time that he's earned uh, a little bit more time and he's done everything we've asked him to do. And, uh, despite having his role changed. I was happy to see him contribute tonight. He deserves it. Were you good with 23 three-point attempts? Would you want more or less? Or were you, were you good with how the flow of the game went? Uh, I don't know. Is that how many we took? Yeah, I just checked. How many did we make? You made, uh, <laughs> made seven, 30%. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not really sure. That's probably a little bit uh, too many for us. But we had some open shots. I thought, especially late in the first half, I thought that was our chance. Uh, defensively, we had done a great job for 15 minutes. Um, I thought we wore them down a little bit. And that was our chance. We missed those open shots. Uh, you make them, I think it becomes a different game. And I think the momentum changes and the whole rhythm of the right. game DJ changes. DJ had two to give you the lead there in the first half. DJ yeah. had two. I thought Tyler had one or two. Um, I got to let my guys shoot that right. because I don't want them to play hesitant. And I really feel like that was our moment. If we had made those shots, that was our chance to get back in the game. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.